it is this little data point on Etsy that has changed the game and it is a very helpful place if you're trying to figure out what is selling right now and in today's video i'm gonna share with you how to use this specific growth rate metric from everby to really focus on designs that are about to explode in the new year i'm gonna share this all with you coming up next Everby is a tool that we're going to use for today's video. This is a powerful tool if you're trying to get further information in regards to how well products have sold on Etsy. If you're looking at designs and not looking at data, then you might be missing out on huge opportunities within the growth rate for you to actually sell high quality products. Everby has made it extremely easy for you to get started absolutely for free. If you do want to get started with Everby, I make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below. So when we do search on Etsy for products, it's very simple to put in a very popular phrase or a very simple phrase, if you will, like something like mom shirt here. And then we can see all the data that's being put up on Etsy search, which is telling us that it's probably doing extremely well, right? But one of the things we definitely want to make sure is that we're creating products that actually have a growth rate that's going up and not a growth rate that is going down. Now, if you look simply at the best sellers, Etsy tell us that the best sellers badge takes into account the sales velocity within the last six months. Best sellers are extremely great to target, but Everbee gives us some further data to understand how well these best selling products are doing currently in the market. And one specific area that we're going to look at today is this growth rate chart that really can change the game for you if you're trying to determine if this is a niche you need to target and if this product has actually done well. So here's a great example of this, right? This product has just recently released. It is already gaining sales. It's gained one sale here, three sales here, and it's definitely going up on a top trend in regards to this type of design product. The point here is that we definitely want to identify products that have a high growth rate so we can start determining what type of designs are selling well right now. So to get to this data point here, we're going to add Everbee to our Chrome extension with Google. Once you have done that here, you'll start seeing all this data on the bottom in regards to how many sales this product has done, what is the overall listing age, their conversion rate, all this data is extremely helpful with us determining if this product is worth our time. But it goes a step further to see if this product has made sales on an upward trend or maybe it's losing sales and it's in a downward trend. So with that being said, we can head over into product analytics tool here and we can see all the data in regards to the product, the shop name, price listing age, total sales, and a lot of data points here. And where people normally spend their time is looking at the total sales and monthly sales, which is, again, extremely helpful. But we want to determine if this product niche or this product design is on an upward trend or a downward trend. We don't want to create products where the designs are on a downward trend, where the entire interest in the style is really over. So with that being said, we can head over to the right hand side a little bit further and we can see the trend track here with Everbee, which gives us further data in regards to how well this product has done. Does it have a drop off? Is it climbing in sales? Is it pretty steady and pace with sales? Let us know this is probably a great evergreen product. Again, those are the things we definitely want to target. But now we also have something called a growth rate. Let us know if this is on a downward trend, an upward trend, or just steady in the entire year. And here's a great example of this as well. This product here is focused on basketball mom. We can see the growth rate is pretty consistent all throughout, but it's definitely having a huge spike right now in the overall sales. So we definitely want to look at this niche and say, is there an opportunity for us to create multiple, maybe different variations of a basketball t-shirt with personalizations of the kids' names on it? That could do extremely well for us. We can see this product is a bestseller. We can see data from Everby. Let us know it's been around for 10 months, May over 100 sales here and the question is is this product on an upward trend where we can start making sales in this specific niche and i would say the answer is yes and the reason why i say that if we head over to the analyzer tool here we can go down a little bit further with this specific product and see that it's had a steady and consistent sale we can see the growth rate of this product has increased by 100 percent and we can see that this is actually gaining sales throughout the month and if we go back further in the last three months we can see how this interest grew over time we went back three months here and we can see that in the month of september not really getting a lot of sales in the month of october not getting a lot of sales but when we're creeping up to november obviously within the basketball season going over to december obviously in january as well again we can see that this is definitely increasing with the interest and definitely a niche i would say we want to target right this is a great way just not to see what products are doing well but also what niches to start creating for so we don't fall behind the trend but start creating design within the market where we can start positioning our product properly and we can go back further to really see how this graph makes sense 
we can go back six months and again see the graph and how it grows over time this is a great way to identify especially for these type of products that may not necessarily be quote unquote seasonal but there's definitely spike in interest throughout the year we definitely want to identify when that is to start creating products we see this in the last six months this product over the course of time didn't do too well during june obviously that's not a basketball month but when we go up a little bit further here into august and moving over into september we can see the interest is obviously growing in time huge spike in interest in regards to november and again will only increase as the months go forward so if you are looking at products and looking at bestsellers alone you're not sure which ones to target or even what niches to get into this helps you identify what is trending now what will be trending coming up and how to position your products properly in order for you to gain sales now here is a great example why that trend chart and that growth rate metric is so important when you're trying to figure out if a product is out of season or out of interest in regards to the market on Etsy, this product here is obviously a best-selling product. It is an Etsy pick. Everybody tells us it's made almost 400 sales in the last 30 days. And obviously it's focused on Christmas, right? So you would look at this and say, wow, this product has done even well now. Let me start creating products around this. But if you go a little bit further into the analyzer tool with this specific product and go down to the growth rate, you can see, yes, it has made a lot of sales in the last 30 days, but there's actually a downward trend in regards to this product. This is a product where we do not want to create right now because it's on the downward trend, right? It's not really going to get us sales currently. So this data really helps us identify what products are worth our time and what will gain us sales. But also some products where, again, it probably made sales a lot last year or in the last 30 days, but it's probably not going to make us sales in the next 30 days or in the next three or six months. So we definitely want to identify the growth rate, look at the trend graph and see where we need to spend our time. And again, I was able to see all of this data would ever be. Again, if you do want to get started with this on your own, I'll make sure I leave all the details down in my description box below. And if you're struggling with designs and not sure what to create next, check out this next video here where I share with you my simple strategy of how I'm able to create hundreds of designs within a few short moments. Again, click this next video here and subscribe to my channel to learn more. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.